It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And this is a very special episode today. Uh, we're looking at my version of Green Arrow, the, the battling bowman. Uh, and he is in his classic costume as designed by the great, the one and only Neil Adams. Now, I drew this, uh, this one in a previous video. And of course, as usual, I will be linking to that video in the comments below, or in the description below, rather. So you can check it out there. So Green Arrow here, he's been penciled, he's been inked, he is on my trusty, hefty Bristol paper, so he could stand up to inking and colors, and we're going to be giving him his colors today. So I've got my Copics handy, including a lot of greens. Now I have, before starting this, I did go over... Uh, this piece with an eraser to make sure I picked up all of my uh, eraser lines or pencil lines rather and so you always want to make sure you do that before you start to add your color because once you add your color you have pretty much seared in any pencil lines into the piece and, and then you, you can't do anything about them so Right now, I'm going in. Uh, I'm starting with my flesh tones. Uh, I'm going in with uh, uh, kind of a medium flesh tone, and I want to do. Uh, and in this costume, he's got he's got a fair amount of exposed skin uh, with these gloves that leave parts of his arms bare. Um, so I want to make sure I, I do that. And I'm doing the flesh first just to really, really minimize any any possibility for contamination, which always is there when there are other colors on the page, uh, especially uh, in the case of Green Arrow here, uh, where he's going to have a whole lot of green all over him. So... Um, I don't want to. I don't want to take the chance of accidentally picking up any of that green. So uh, it's it's much easier if the flesh contaminates the green because well the green's going to be darker and I'll have ways of coming back from that. But if I get green into the skin, uh, that's. That's a tougher problem. That's a tougher problem to, to fix. So this is my E15, my dark suntan. And I'm gonna go in with this one just to push a few of these little dark tones on the face. A little bit more contrast go in in the ears underneath his, um, his cheekbones. Punch up some of the anatomy going on here. Again, in the exposed parts of his, of these gloves of his, a little bit of a shadow being cast by those shoulder pad things. I'm also going to go in and add some color to his beard. And, oh, got my, my cadmium yellow is dying of thirst. So... I will go to my yellow. And that's pretty good. I also want to do, um, since, he, since he is blonde and has light coloring for his hair, I want to do that also early on to, uh, to again avoid the possibility of any contamination. Now this here is my pale sepia, YR24. And this is kind of, this is what I use for my, really for my darker yellow. So I'm using this to give the beard a few little highlights and, and just to make it 
a little more interesting and richer than just a flat yellow. Okay. So I'm going to go back into the face. I'm going to go in with the flesh color. And I want to use the flesh color just to warm up some parts of his face, like the cheeks, uh, tip of his nose a little bit. Maybe even use that for some lip coloring. And actually, I could also do a little bit of this on, again, the exposed parts of his arms. And then, if I really want to warm things up, I'll just go in with some pure pink. Maybe do the lower lip with the pink. Again, heat up those cheeks, tip of the nose. And maybe a little bit of the elbow over there. A little bit of that arm. A little bit of that shoulder. Not too much. Also, as always, don't kill your highlights. Now this is my E00, my lightest flesh tone. And that, this is, this is what I always call my, my blender. This is the one that kind of sews all these different colors together and also can bring things to that highlight that I just talked about. So I can kind of go into those, those darker colors and ease them into, into the highlight. Okay, so I think we're ready to dive into the green areas of the costume. And I'm gonna start with the lighter green areas. So that would be the leggings, uh, the, the sort of turtleneck area, uh, which he's wearing underneath that vest. I do off camera over here, I got a lot of green arrow up on my Google images, just so that I'm sure of um, what color goes where. So I, I really wanna make sure I'm not gonna botch him. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go in and you know what? I'll just start from the top, do that, the hat, little Robin Hood hat. I mentioned earlier in, in the first part, in the video where I drew this, this is really a, a great costume. This is, there's certain characters who have costumes where you're just not going to top that. You know, it's perfect for them. It's interesting. It's distinct. It's a great costume. Um, and no matter what people put them in today, you're really not going to do better than this. Um, and that that's, that's really how I feel about this one. Let's go down to his legs. And again, I'm, I'm hitting up all the areas that are, that are dark, that are, that are a little bit darker. Even though these, these leggings of his are lighter comparatively to other areas of the costume. Um, I'm gonna go in. And I'm using, uh, this is, they call it Meadow Green G03, which is a lighter green. And even here, leaving little white highlights. And just to keep things from getting too cool, I have my yellow green, my YG03. And my yellow green is going to cook things a little, going to warm things up. It's going to blend in nicely. And give my, give this lighter area a little bit of, of a, of heat, a little bit of more warmth to it. And I'm also going to go in a little bit of salad, what they call salad, YG05. Uh, and I'm going to go with that. And this is going to warm it up too. And it also serves as a nice transition between the yellow green that I just put down and that, that meadow green that I was using just a moment ago. 
Okay, I'm gonna go over to the other leg. How are we doing on time? May not finish green, green arrow all in one sitting. Um, I may have to wrap him up in a, in a time release or possibly a part two. Incidentally, if I have not mentioned, Green Arrow here is, of course, a prize. He is, um, he was the top prize in my recent 800 subscriber giveaway. Very loyal supporter and subscriber, Jason Nuttall, um, won the top spot. So the first prize was... Uh, your choice. You got to pick your choice of a full body commission. So I, I would draw whoever you wanted, full figure, um, in color, 9 by 12 commission, whatever you wanted. Uh, so Jason, Jason Nuttall, he won. And uh, he got to pick. And I may have mentioned in uh, part one, he he had um, he gave he actually gave me a choice of characters to pick. I'm gonna go in and do his mask. And this is a dark green. This is my ocean green with his G28. And Green Arrow's mask is just about black. It's not, it's not black. It is green. But it's a dark, dark green, so I'm, I'm using this. And I'm going to be using this, too, in the darker green portions of his costume. Which is the, the, this vest thing that he wears, plus to his gloves. And um, also to his, uh, the, the trunks. I'm going to be coming out of the black with this darker green. And also, I'll, I'll use this for his boots as well. So, Jason, as I was saying, Jason gave me a, um, a choice of characters to draw. He, he said Green Arrow. Uh, the Thing, Marvel Comics, uh, the Fantastic Four uh, character, The Thing. And uh, Wolverine. Wolverine in the classic, his classic uh, brown outfit, I believe, designed by John Byrne. Um, so out of those three, uh, The Thing is always fun to draw. So he was, he was a real serious contender. I, I was tempted to do The Thing. Um, but out of all of them, the one that had done the least was this, this version of Green Arrow. And, um, archers, archers are a pain to draw, as you might imagine. Um, that bow and arrow, the, the heavy foreshortening, uh, all of that is, is a bit of a bear. Um, but it's such a cool costume. And Wolverine, I had just recently done a Wolverine piece which you can see up on my website, FernandoRuizEverybody.com. Check out the website. I'm bringing it back to life, and I'm posting there, um, not exactly daily, but I, I am posting there uh, a bit more. So um, please check that out. So I'd recently done Wolverine, so I didn't want to, you know, I wasn't eager to do all, an, another Wolverine. Uh, but Green Arrow, Green Arrow's fun. Yeah, he's an archer, and, and you have to, wrestle with that but um he's fun he's fine and it's it is as i said a great design again one of those untouchable designs where you look at the character and you say why did they ever take that away i look at a lot of characters these days and i know they've changed green arrow's costume and i know um yeah it's 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 still green i mean they, they've kept that um but they've done away with like the little Robin Hood hat. I, I'm sure, I, I know the thinking. These days, kids are just not invested in the, the Robin Hood character as they may have been once upon a time. 
So I, I, I'm sure that that factored into that. You know, there's always there's always some naysayers who will point to the Robin Hood hat and say, well, that that just looks silly. Um, honestly, if, if you're saying that, you've probably outgrown comics and you should be reading other stuff. And don't ruin it for the rest of us. Um, so I, I, I know they've changed his costume and it's something, you know, with, with seams and maybe bits of armor, which is what every costume looks like these days. Um, it's just not as cool. It's just not as distinct, as interesting. Um, I mean, if you're going to throw out a Neil Adams design, and I, you know, there's certain certain artists where I could I could say the same thing about. If you're going to throw out a Neil Adams design, if you're going to throw out a Dave Cockrum design, you better have something really, really cool in mind. And most of the time, they don't. Most of the time, they throw out a Neil Adams, a, a Dave Cockrum, and um, they replace it with something very, very generic or a John Romita costume. Um, John Romita designed the Punisher costume, which is one of the most simple, most elegant designs out there. And every time I see the Punisher, he just looks like like somebody's dad ready for yard work. He's, they, they always have him dress in like camo pants and, and just maybe the t-shirt, which is always looking so ratty and, and torn. Um, you know, say what you want. Yeah, I know he's, he's this gritty vigilante. But, you know, if you, if you really get too far away from the superhero uh, trappings, the, the ingredients of a superhero, and, and in that I include the costume, you're, you're really getting away from the genre. You know, you're really getting away from the superhero genre. Eventually, the Punisher, and it's very easy to do this with the Punisher, eventually the Punisher just becomes a guy with a gun. You know, you may as well be telling cop stories. You may as well be telling stories about cops who are, you know, just on the loose killing people. Um, you know, that's that's always been, for me, the appeal of the Punisher is that he is a superhero, sort of, that does kill. Um, and if you take away the superhero element, then again, he's just a guy with a gun. Then he's just a killer. And that isn't as interesting. And there are there are a number of other characters too. Um, you know, I, I keep harping on, on Dave Cockrum and his costumes. You know, it seems like there's a race to just throw his comic book, his costumes into the dustbin. Um, and he's drawn some great ones. Ms. Marvel. Ms. Dave Givens's, I'm sorry, uh, Dave Cockrum's Ms. Marvel costume. The, the black one, large yellow M, the red sash. How, you, you don't, how do you top that? And, and her costume isn't bad. What they've put her in isn't, isn't really bad. Um, but... It's not as sleek, as distinctive as what Cockrum came up with. Um, Cockrum also designed, of course, uh, Colossus's original costume, Colossus from the X-Men. And Colossus is, some, is, is another one where every artist who draws him seems hell-bent on putting him in something new. Um, and really, you know, with flared shoulders and, and thigh-high boots and all, Colossus's original costume is his best one. It, it, you haven't been able to top anything. Nothing else that has, has, he's been wearing. And for some reason, whenever they do uh, put him into other costumes, um, it's always some sort of weird bondage-looking thing. But... That just may be superheroes in general. Okay, so I'm close to wrapping up Oliver Queen here. I may have to do this in a in a time lapse video. So um, I hope you guys are digging it. Of course, as always, if you guys have questions, comments, 
please put them down below in the comments section. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you like. As always, let me know what you want to see. I'm glad nobody's been shy uh, about holding back with uh, suggestions and, and stuff that they want to see. I'm always getting topics, suggestions for topics, and I will be, you know, I will be acting on them sooner or later. Just uh, hang in there. Be patient with me because there's a lot to cover and I can only do just so many videos a week. Um, but I will get to a lot of these topics that, that people have been bringing up to me. Um, and as, as I said, this was a uh, prize for in the big 800 subscriber giveaway. We are getting very, very close to the big 900 subscriber giveaway. Right now, the channel is roughly at about, I think I'm about eight in the 850s in terms of subscribers. Um, so we're, we're getting up there, we're getting up there again. I'm gonna be announcing the big 900 subscriber giveaway. So there will be opportunities, more opportunities. If you wanted a commission and you didn't get one the last time around, you know, uh, keep your keep your eyes peeled. You'll be able to uh, to do it next time. So, as always, I hope you guys dug this. I hope you guys enjoyed the colors here, especially in this case. It's it's a lot of monochrome colors. You know, I'm doing a lot with the green, just green, shades of green. So, I hope uh, I hope this was of interest to you guys. If it was, please please click like for me. Um, and please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Uh, we need subscribers all the time. That's what makes this happen. Um, so please do all that. And as always, keep drawing, keep practicing, and keep coming back. Okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.